When you first open up your package containing the Light Source Engraving Air Assist Kit, you will find the main assembly will be pre-assembled with the valve, the gooseneck, the base, the coupler, and a nozzle. You'll have an extra base, you'll have a fan nozzle, camera mount, three extension arms, two mounting screws, and tubing adapters. There is a reducer and also a T. Depending on accessories, you might have a USB microscope clip or a base that will hold a stair at level. One important thing to note, these should be connected if they happen to come loose during shipping. You will need this small piece of hose that is plugged into the reducer. To begin the final assembly process, simply unwind the gooseneck and orient it so that the ball and socket joint at the top of the coupler is now on the top as the air assist unit would sit on your breadboard. Attach the small tube coming from the gooseneck to the right side of the valve. These are just push to connect fittings. If you need to, if you need to remove the tube in order to change bases, simply push the blue retaining piece in and pull the tube out. Next, connect the small, di small piece of small diameter hose to the left side of the valve. Once you have that step completed, your air assist is ready to mount to your fiber laser bed. You can use the T to tie into your existing air compressor line, or you can hook up to an aquarium style air pump. This is what I used for months before I tied into my air compressor. This is a 38 liter per minute model that I have tested and used with the air assist kit. You probably have the standard silicone tubing to go with it. So remove the T from the air assist tubing, then insert the air assist tubing into the silicone tubing. And then once you have it inserted, you may zip tie or use some duct tape or whatever else just to create uh, a joint that won't pull apart. But even once they're just stuck together, they seal up pretty well. When you are ready to install the kit, simply bolt the base to your breadboard. The holes are spaced so that if you wanted to run the tube up through the bottom of your breadboard, you could do that. They are spaced at 25 millimeters. To change nozzles, simply unscrew the nozzle currently installed and replace with the desired nozzle. Align the flat side of the arm with the joint, the socket on the coupler or the other arms. Press in and twist. Sometimes you have to twist while you're pressing it in, especially when they're new and a little more stiff. So once they're in there and moved around a little bit, it'll loosen up snug, but loose enough that you can move them. And they are very tough, so you shouldn't have to worry about breaking them. But by chance, if one does break, let me know. We'll ship you out a free replacement. Limited lifetime warranty on the 3D printed parts. So once we check our orientation, then we can just snap that into place. And then you have your camera mount. And you can take this socket pop it into the next one. I recommend assembling your ball and socket joints first, then attaching to this piece. So to take it out, you just pop that out. And again, just give it a little twist. So we have a snug fit, and then you can pop it into this coupler. Again, a little twist. Then you have a mount that can hold your camera. Attach the USB microscope mount using the same principle. Just pop it into the end of the ball and socket arm.
if you decide you want to switch bases it's no problem to switch your base just first disconnect the small hose coming from the bottom of the base and then twist these are threaded into the base and all you have to do is twist if they are a little stuck at first keep twisting they'll eventually come out I'm going to remove this piece as well just to make the twisting easier on camera all right now we have this out pop your old base off remove these two screws take your valve off then you can switch your valve to a different base then insert the hose and then just screw your base on once it's tight connect the hose coming from the bottom of the base on the right side so this will be right side then the small hose coming from the reducer the left side you are good to go so operate the valve to close it, it is clockwise to open it it is counterclockwise so if we turn counterclockwise we'll open the valve clockwise we will close the valve and that is all there is to it if you have any questions Please leave a comment on the video or send an email to sales at fightsource.pro.